A new bill has been introduced in Congress that, if passed, would strip Secret Service protection for convicted felons sentenced to prison. Congressman Benny Thompson proposed that legislation on Friday. It would address the very specific scenario of a Secret Service protectee having to serve time in jail. The proposal is a not-so-subtle dig at Donald Trump and a reminder that none of this is normal. Joining us now is the former chairman of the January 6th committee, Democratic Congressman Benny Thompson of Mississippi. Good morning, Chairman. It is a pleasure to have you. The Washington Post headline screams, if Trump is convicted, Secret Service protection may be obstacle to imprisonment. I thank you for your legislation. I have been saying for some time that uh, any former president or federal official who has this type of protection and some of the other benefits of being a, a, a member of a former member of office, all of that should go away. All of it, all the privileges, all the briefings, all the access should go away until your status is cleared up in the criminal justice system. What say you, sir? This legislation for me is long overdue in this world of Trump. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I think it basically says that in America, no one is above the law. Uh, even uh, so, you know, it's 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 really simple. Uh, the average man or woman on the street assumes that when you break the law, if there are some benefits that you are receiving uh, before you are convicted, uh, you lose those benefits. Uh, as you know, all former presidents receive Secret Service protection. So that's a given. But I think in this moment that we're looking at now, just like we have in the past, we have amended the law relative to protectees. So uh, when former uh, Senator Robert Kennedy uh, was killed, we amended the law to say that nominees uh, of a party for president would receive the protection. So. This is an amendment to current law uh, that says, just like in any other state, most of the times when uh, a person uh, is convicted, if there are some benefits associated with that person, for instance, Social Security, if you go to prison uh, and receive in Social Security, that benefit's cut off right oh. then until you get out. So there are some normal things that occur and we're just expanding that to uh, this current situation. Uh, none of us ever dreamed uh, that we'd be here, but we are. Uh, someone with 91 felony counts over their head, uh, someone who's intimidating uh, prospective jurors, someone who's uh, having to be told by the judge a number of times, uh, sit down. Uh, I think it's, it's a moment in this country that we have to address. And for this notion that somehow what happened on January 6th didn't happen or it didn't happen and what you saw with your own eyes uh, didn't occur, there's something wrong with that. So this clears it up. Uh, it makes sure that uh, those individuals at the highest seat of power uh, understand that there are penalties that apply to you even when you are president of the United States. Chairman, as I was reading uh, the Disgraced Former Protectees Act, uh, I, I was a little confused about something, which is, is this answering specifically for that person's time in prison, or is it also applicable if they were to, to then leave prison? Is it, is it applicable to the time after? Well, two things. First of all, uh, if you're in prison, you're under the custody uh, of, of that system. So there's no sense mm -hmm. duplicating uh, the protection. Yep. Now, when you come out, uh, the spouse continues uh, to receive the protection. At the end of that, that individual has to apply. A lot depends on what the sentence is for that person. And ultimately, it's up to the Secret Service whether they get it back. Mm. You, you know, Congressman, I, I, th I think, Mr. Chairman, this is a really important conversation and a, and a critical piece of legislation because 
in legal circles and non-legal circles alike and throughout cable news and in the papers, many folks have said, and I mean, it's even in there in that Washington Post headline that Michael referenced, that, oh, well, Secret Service could be a barrier to Donald Trump mm -hmm. or anyone like him uh, meeting consequences. But as, as you well know, I mean, you are the ranking member of uh, Homeland Security in the House, uh, the committee. There are very cushy prisons in this country. There are, I mean, the prison that Michael Cohen went to is on the list of Forbes' 10 best country club prisons in the country. This idea that Secret Service is a barrier to accountability, I, I think, is not true. Uh, but I, I wonder what you think. Well, we wanted to clear up uh, the law. You know, the Secret Service is there for protection. Uh, but that protection stops when it determines whether or not an individual has broken the law. Uh, every individual has an opportunity for his or her day in court if they are charged. If they are convicted, uh, in this instance, the moment that person is convicted and given to the custody of the authorities, they lose that protection uh, at that moment. So there's no question, uh, and you've seen all the, the, the hearings in, in court where when they remand that individual to the custody of whomever, that president loses that protection at that moment. So uh, it's clear in this situation uh, that the public has to understand uh, no one is above the law. That individual who is entrusted uh, with that authority also understands that he or she is not above the law. And to be quite honest, uh, as you know, I chaired the January 6th uh, committee. There were a lot of things that came uh, up in our review uh, that causes me great pause. Uh, and so I think anyone in the highest seat of power uh, would give second thoughts to some of the things they do if they would understand that some of the trappings that go with this job uh, could be lost uh, if you do the wrong thing. But look, uh, 91 criminal charges. Uh, it is clear that something is wrong, something is amiss, and we have to at least address it. This is my way of addressing what most people assume already occurs, that if you break the law, there are certain benefits uh, that should no longer apply. And in this instance, that Secret Service 24-7 uh, uh, protection would be uh, no longer in force. Chairman, given the current uh, composition of the, the leadership of the House, what, what are the prospects of your legislation actually passing in this Congress? Um, or, or is this something that uh, you see, you know, getting waylaid by Republicans because, again, they're in the protection, the Donald Trump protection racket? Um, or is it something you think that you could peel off um, a number of Republicans, uh, en just enough to, to get it passed, because they, like you, see uh, the value of, of the argument you're making. Well, I think it's clear that this is a, a, a marker for the future. Uh, we've never discussed uh, the presidential uh, protectee uh, situation. Uh, I'm convinced, though, that if uh, the current situation uh, rest with the fact that former President Trump is uh, convicted. I think it takes a different uh, venue. I think the speaker would be hard-pressed uh, not to bring it uh, to the floor. I think the Senate uh, would do likewise. But clearly, in this great country of ours, uh, when a person uh, who's gone before uh, uh, his peers and is convicted, then it's over. Uh, you have lost many of those privileges uh, that you were entitled to before the conviction. Uh, I'm optimistic. I know there's a lot of pressure, but this is a marker for future discussion and debate that depends largely on what occurs in New York over the next few weeks. All righty. Congressman Benny Thompson, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.
Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.